welcome to bsc statistic students now in this class i discuss uh, some of the formulas formula of index numbers so there are usually two kinds of formulas unweighted index numbers and weighted index numbers you see i'll show you some of the formulas here the simple price index number which are called which are uh, unweighted index numbers are simple index numbers in which we have simple price index number p not i it is denoted by price it is indicated by capital p zero it is base year i current year p not i is equal to summation p i j prices in the current year i refers to current year divided by summation p not j small p represents uh, prices of various years in the in various years so summation p i j by summation p not j into 100 this is the uh, simple price index number for the current year i base year is zero summation j is equal to 1 to n number of commodities how many commodities i is equal to 1 to k which refers uh, uh, on time period how many number of years are there which refers here time period simply right simply without uh, having the sum that is summation j is equal to 1 to n is always uh, uh, considered so therefore instead of that uh, we are writing summation p i j by summation p naught j into 100 usually we write we can write in this fashion in this way so come similarly and simple quantity index number you see this is what simple quantity index number the price index number is p not p i j by p not j into 100 quantity index number q 0 i q represents quantity 0 i 0 base year i current year so q not i is nothing but quantity index number in the year i i may take the values 1 to k summation q i j by summation q not j into 100 q refers here the quantity uh, of a particular commodity how much quantity so this is quantity index number this is uh, small q represents the quantity of a particular commodity now simple average uh, of price relatives so price relatives which means always to be calculated for uh, price relative is going to be calculated for jth commodity by p i j by p not j j is equal to 1 to ref 1 to n so on n j refers commodity i refers uh, the time period the year so price relatives arithmetic mean based on arithmetic mean p0 i arithmetic mean 1 1 by n summation p i j by p not j into 100 geometric mean you based on geometric mean p0 i geometric mean product of j is equal to 1 to n p i j by p not j whole power 1 by n into 100 that can be calculated by anti log anti log of 2 plus 1 by n into summation j is equal to 1 to n log p i j by p not j by using harmonic harmonic mean p0 i simple average of price relatives harmonic by using harmonic mean is equal to 1 by 1 divided by n summation j is equal to 1 to n 1 by p i j by p naught j into 100 and also you can simply write uh, n divided by summation j is equal to 1 to n p i j by p naught j p naught j by p i j into 100 like that the merits of uh, demerits and demerits are here if i discuss only the formula you see now which are uh, unweighted now weighted index numbers so these are weighted index numbers weighted aggregate index numbers is also called weighted aggregate index numbers so weighted aggregate index numbers usually the formula is for price index number first of all price index number formula p p not i capital p not i quantity index number capital q not i like that already specified that same notation 0 indicates base year i indicates current year p0 i is equal to summation p i j w j divided by summation p not j w j into 100 so we want to compare the prices that is the reason why we have considered p i j small p i j which is price in the current year of j of all commodities price p not j price in the base year 
so therefore this is cot comparison pij by p not j summation pij wj by summation p not j wj so pij p not j which are constants in the price index number it do not change because comparison is uh, for prices now various formulas last pr now i show the difference last pr formula is considered with wj is equal to q not j that is uh, base year quantities quantities in the base year q not j you see the formula refer the formula wj we are considering q not j summation pij q not j divided by summation p not j q not j so pij p not j pij by p not j do not change in any index number pashi is weighted, weighted aggregate index price index number which is uh, you see here pashi have considered qij is wj is equal to qij that is uh, current year quantities so summation pij qij by summation p not j qij is equal to 100 here q not j by q not j here qij by qij so it depends on formula this is p0 il this is p0 ip pashi last year pashi now drawbish uh, uh, baule weighted aggregate price index number it is going to be calculated by p0 i drawbish baule db is equal to it is an average of last year and pashi 1 by 2 p0 i last year plus p0 i pashi just uh, the formula you have learned the summation p is a q not j the summation p not j q not j plus summation p is a q is a divided by summation p not j q is a into 100 multiplied by 1 by divided by 2 that is 1 multiplied by 1 by 2 drawbish bowle next one marshall edgeworth marshall edgeworth he was considered as wj is equal to q not j plus q j by 2 average of base year and current year quantities the formula will be see here the formula is uh, it is on marshall p0 i marshall edgeworth is equal to summation p i j into q not j plus q i j divided by 2 divided by summation p not j into q not j plus q i j divided by 2 into 100 so it is nothing it can be expressed as summation p i j into q not j plus q i j divided by summation p not j into q not j plus q i j into 100 now consider walsh uh, uh, weighted weight, pri weighted price index number p0 i w he was considered as wj is equal to square root of q not j q i j now if you refer this summation p i j into square root of q not j q i j divided by summation p not j into some square root of uh, q not j into p not j p not uh, q not j into q i j q not j into q i j into 100 so uh, that's it, that is uh, walsh walsh was considered square root of q not j into q i j w j weight arithmetic uh, geometric mean fisher's weighted index number weighted aggregate price index number this is what the very crucial index number ideal index number crucial index number p0 i fisher f is equal to square root of last year and pashi p0 i last year p0 i pashi which means uh, geometric mean of uh, last year and pashi square root of summation p i j q not j by summation p not j q not j into summation p i j q i j divided by summation p not j q i j into 100 into 100 uh, this is what uh, Fisher index number. Like that, we have very number of many number of formulas. Kelly, Kelly fixed weight index number, P zero I K. So summation P I J Q J divided by summation P not J Q J into hundred. Now it, it can be considered either uh, current year quantity or uh, average. Like uh, so, this is going to be Kelly's fixed weight index number. Now. Uh, if you consider weighted aggregate quantity index number, these are all price index numbers. Now I discuss quantity index number. Q0i, this is denoted by Q, Q, Q0i. Q0i last year. Last year always considered base year. So the formula is now summation Qij by Q, summation Q0j. Qij, Q0j. Quantity index numbers are to be compared with uh, current year quantities with uh, one base year quantities. Q not j, this is Q i j into P not j by P not j. That is summation Q i j P not j by summation Q not j P not j into 100. The Pash is quantity index number. This is of current year. That is Q 0 i P is equal to summation Q i j P i j divided by summation Q not j P i j into 100. Right. So, this is what the Pash is index number. Now, Drawbish Bowley quantity index number. 
if you refer drawbish ball a quantity index number this is uh, average for these two last pair and pashi q0 i db is equal to 1 by 2 summation q i j p not j divided by summation q not j p not j plus summation q i j p i j divided by summation q i not j p i j into 100 marshall edward so it is uh, we consider prices as p not j plus p i j divided by 2 so q0 i marshall edward is equal to summation q i j p not j plus p i j divided by summation q not j into p not j plus p i j into 100 Next, uh, Walsh quantity index number Q0IW is equal to summation QIJ into square root of P0J and PIJ divided by summation Q0J into square root of P0J, Q0J, PIJ into 100. Fisher's quantity index number, this is what ideal index number, which is Q0I, Q0I Fisher is equal to square root of summation q i j p not j divided by summation q not j p not j into summation q i j p i j divided by summation q not j p i j into 100 this is nothing but average this is a geometric mean geometric mean of uh, last pair and pashi so now also we have weighted average price relatives price relatives also we have some another formula weighted average price relatives P0 I arithmetic mean is equal to summation J is equal to 1 to n WJ into PIJ P not J divided by summation WJ into 100. Geometric mean by using geometric mean P0 I geometric mean is equal to summation product not summation product J is equal to 1 to n PIJ P not J whole power WJ and whole power 1 by summation WJ into 100. Anti log of 2 plus 1 by summation WJ into log p i j by p not j right so harmonic mean based on harmonic mean p0 i harmonic mean is equal to 1 by summation 1 by 1 by summation wj into summation j is equal to 1 to n wj into 1 by p i j by p not j into 100 it is equal to summation wj by summation wj into p, p not j by p i j into 100 so these are the Various formulas, of course, one more formula, I will tell you, value index numbers, which are, the value index numbers are nothing but V0I indicates summation PIJ, QIJ by summation P0J, Q0J into 1000, that is a value index number. So, now these are the formulas, hope you understand, thank you.